my summer essentials video. It has been super warm here in the Pacific Northwest and we have had like 90, 100 degree weather and it is only the middle of July which means I can't imagine what the end of July and August is going to be like but because of that I have gathered quite a few things that I have found absolutely necessary for the hot summer weather. First product I could have for you is probably the most important product when it comes to summer and that is sunscreen. I don't know about you, but I'm actually allergic to a lot of brands of sunscreen. They tend to break me out in hives, which isn't great. So there was actually a period in my past when I didn't use sunscreen at all, which is super horrible, but I would rather burn than get hives. Uh, but I have now found a couple brands that I can use. The first brand I don't have here today, and that is Hawaiian Tropic. I am kind of bummed because Hawaiian Tropic changed their formula a few years ago to be something different, and that was kind of a bummer. But the sunscreen that I have for you is this Garnier Ombre Solaire sunscreen, and you can actually get this in the here in the US, which is really annoying, so I get mine on philunique.com. But this is by far the best sunscreen I have ever used, and it doesn't break me out in hives, which is obviously a plus. Uh, it must be kind of a physical sunscreen because when you put it on, it's really thick and white. And when you put it on your body, it actually leaves kind of a white cast, which, you, which means that it's really going to physically block the sun. Now, when I say you don't burn with the sunscreen, I mean you don't burn. Like, this sunscreen, when I go to like shower at night after being in the sun, like I can still see this sunscreen on my body. It'll leave kind of like a milky white residue. It is by far the best sunscreen ever. In fact, I almost don't tan through it because it's so strong, but I would rather not tan than burn. So I normally just use like 10 because I tan pretty easily. That way I know I'm not going to burn and then the rest of me can just tan slowly underneath, which I think is probably more safe anyways. But yeah, this sunscreen is just amazing and I swear by it. When you're in the sun, I also feel like you need a sunscreen for your lips because I have burned my lips before and that is not a pleasant scenario. It gets like dry and flaky and it's just horrible. So my favorite SPF sunscreen that I have found is this Nivea A Kiss of Smoothies and it has SPF 15. This is actually probably one of my favorite chapstick lip balms anyways and it just so happens to have SPF in it. It is just a clear lip balm but I really feel like it smooths my lips and hydrates my lips and keeps them hydrated for hours on end. I even like taking this to the pool and like just rain applying it when I'm at the pool because I just find it so hydrating. I also like the Nivea Milk and Honey which comes in like the yellow tube but that doesn't have SPF so not great for being in the sun but great for like using it at night so definitely a favorite for summer. Next, because of the weather and being in the pool and the chlorine and the beach, we definitely need, or I need at least, extra hydration in my hair. So my favorite leave-in conditioner is this Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Trite Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. There is just something quite summery about this, I feel like. The smell of it says it has soy and cocoa. But it just has this kind of like warmth and freshness. It reminds me of summer, maybe like a pina colada, maybe. I don't know, probably not. But uh, it is just one of my favorite leave-in conditioners, and I have been putting it in the ends of my hair every day when I get out of the shower, and I feel like it leaves my hair a little extra hydrated. Now, you know I love my Dove Cream Oil Lotion because I talked about that in my last video, or two videos ago, but for the summertime, I like to crack out the oldie but a goodie, the Banana Bow Aloe After Sun Lotion. Now, this doesn't leave your skin looking radiant like the Dove Cream Oil does, so I like to wear that if I'm going to go out, but after being in the sun, there is nothing more satisfying than putting this all over your body. It's a really thick lotion for being a pump lotion, so I feel like it really just sits on your skin and really sinks in and hydrates plus the smell of this lotion it's just really nostalgic if you haven't used this lotion before you should really go smell it because to me it is like the essential like it is summer lotion like I never use this in the winter it is only my summer lotion and it's really the smell that I am in love with it's not offensive it's really fresh uh, it definitely feels like you've been at the pool all day especially because I just always used it when I was in middle school and high school so it is one of my favorite lotions for after being in the sun this next product is a bit of a weird one, but something that I'm trying to convert everyone I know to, and it is the La Roche-Posay Eau Thermale Spring Water. 
Yes, I know. It's just water in a can. But I tell you, this has literally saved me when I have been dying. We don't have AC in our apartment here, as, as well as most people don't have AC in the Pacific Northwest. So when I am just dying on 100 degree weather, then I will like take this out and I will spray it all over my face, sometimes on my chest, my back, and it instantly cools me off. Because it's kind of like an aerosol spray. It's pretty cooling when the water goes on. It doesn't get hot at all. And like I can show you the actual spray is really fine. I don't even know if you can see that. It's so fine. But I find it doesn't uh, disturb my makeup if I need to spray it on over my makeup. But really it's just here. It is just so cooling and refreshing and I'm absolutely in love with this. This can lasted me, I think it's like $12, you can get it at Target or Ulta. It lasted me all summer. I'm just now running out so I just repurchased this for this summer. But I, it's like something I highly recommend to anyone who gets overheated and because it's like for sensitive skin and it has like nice minerals in it, it won't cause you to break out. It doesn't have like that harsh kind of water that your sink will have and I just find that this is literally a lifesaver and I will continue to repurchase it. Nail polish in the summertime is probably my favorite time to wear nail polish, besides fall, I love fall time too, but that is because I can crack out bright neon bright nails and no one will look twice or think I'm being silly. So my all time favorite summer nail polish is this China Glaze Pool Party. It is a color I always come back to, I love wearing it on my toes or my nails, but especially my toes because I like just like laying in the sun and looking down and seeing just like bright, bright toenails. Uh, people have saw it on me and said it looks like fish lures, which is totally fine with me because I love having bright toenail polish and nails for that matter, but it's just one of my favorites. Um, I hope it comes out as like neon on camera as it does in real life, but like this is bright pink highlighter pink. It's awesome. And another favorite color that I have for summer is blue nail polish. Now this is from the new uh, Essie collection and it is the Pret A Surfer. It is just this really pretty, um, I wouldn't say it's a neon blue per se, I would say it's like a, almost a pastel, like a deep pastel, or oh no, you know what it is? It was like the trend last year, it's a muted neon, that's exactly what it is. But it is just this really pretty blue, it almost feels like it leans periwinkle in a, a bit, uh, but I am in love with it and love wearing blue nails in the summer, especially because I feel like it makes you look a little more tan. And the last nail polish color that I love is of course white. I talked about this in my favorites video. But there's just something great about putting white on your nails, it makes your skin look tan, feel like it's so chic, and it goes with everything. So definitely my three favorite colors for the summer. I have a fashion favorite, which I don't do very often, but I am in love with these new tops from BP at Nordstrom. And it is just this really pretty, like nice lightweight tank top. They come in a ton of colors. They're two for 28 right now at Nordstrom. This is the blue one, but I have white and black and uh, pink and purple. I have them all. And at first I was worried that I thought they were going to be a little too cropped because you can tell they're not too short, but they're a little bit shorter than like an average t-shirt. But what I like about them is that they're just short enough that when you're wearing jean shorts, they don't cover your jean shorts, so it doesn't look like you're wearing like a short, short mini tank top dress, you know. Um, so I'm in love with this tank top, and it's so light and so airy and so soft. I Like I said, I have all the colors, and definitely a summer staple right now for me. My other fashion summer staple is a new purchase of mine, and I actually got it on my birthday from my mom, and it is this lovely, awesome purple aviators. I hope you can see the purple in the camera, it's kind of hard with my lights, but they are the new lavender lens aviators. Let me put them on for you. There is just something like so chic and like I love them and I don't normally like 
purple, which is strange, but there's something about this, like, color lavender purple that, like, matches my hair really nicely and my skin tone, and the frame is really nice because I have a pretty narrow face, and so it means that they're not, like, sticking way out here, and I absolutely love them. I have been wearing them every single day since I got them, and I just, like, keep them right next to my purse and grab them every time I drive my car, and I'm just obsessed and love them. If you don't like splurging your pennies, which is totally understandable, then just buy the knockoffs because they, like, basically look exactly the same. So, yeah, something that I am absolutely in love with. Last but not least, it's the summer essential that we would probably all like to admit is not a summer essential, but that is self especially if you come from like where I come which is the Pacific Northwest as soon as July hits you look or at least I look super pasty and I do everything I can to like bronze up as fast as I can because I don't want to look like I'm a hermit and just work all day and don't spend any time in the sun. So I um, have this mini version of the Saint Tropez one hour tan and I find it is absolutely brilliant. What I love about it is it doesn't streak on me, it's not patchy, and the, because it's the express version, what I do is I just put it on like three hours before I want to shower, before I go to bed, put it on with my mint, and then take a shower, and then I don't have to smell that fake tan smell all night, and I wake up in the morning and I just have a really pretty glow. And I think what I love about this most is that I have been putting it on about once every two weeks and then I'll be like laying in the sun on the weekends when I get a chance and my skin is like the natural tan is like naturally like getting up to where this is so that I don't feel like it's fading off at all that I my body underneath is just like at this same tan by the time I get there so I just find that I'm able, able to like build it up really nicely and yeah it is just my complete summer essential I really like all of the Saint Tropez tanning products and highly recommend them that is my summer favorites for you I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope something that I talked about in this video will help you out this summer and you will find that it will become a summer essential for you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss my next video. And in that case, I will see you in my next one. Bye!